Hi guys! I'm coming to you to do a different type of video. Um, today's video is going to be really based purely on makeup. <laughs> um, I don't really talk much about makeup. I'm kind of getting into it. I'm really like, I guess, uh, a novice, a really big novice when it comes to makeup. But I have to tell you about my latest little travels and experiments with makeup. So just to give you a little bit of background, I am really like, a cheapskate when it comes to makeup. <laughs> I'll admit that. I'm really cheap. I don't like to spend money. So I am used to using e.l.f. and um, their brushes, their foundation, their eyeshadow, their lipsticks, their lip glosses. I mean, it fits the bill. It's really, really cheap. And they always have like tons of specials online. So I mean, it's, it's never a bad thing for e.l.f. Well, I've been having issues with e.l.f. because e.l.f., in my opinion, or with my skin, has more of a red undertone. And I am more of a yellow undertone. So I, I hated the, the contrast. And you ladies know what I'm talking about with the dark face and light, like, neck and everything. And I, I was getting tired of it. You know, I'm, I wanted something that blend seamlessly with my skin. So I tried uh, Revlon's Color Stay because Revlon's Color Stay has more of a yellow undertone, and it's a store drugstore brand, and it's pretty reasonable. I mean, it's a little more expensive than my Elf, and, but I stepped out on faith and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna try it. So I did, and um, it wasn't exactly dead on, but it passed. It passed enough for my skin complexion. So I said, okay, well, I can make do with this for a little bit, and then the whole BB cream phase came and I tried their BB cream and I couldn't really find one that matched my shade and I just started getting tired so I was telling my husband I said honey I really just want some makeup that's very seamless not expensive and like would work with my skin and not break me out and all these different things and he was like well you might have to try some of the more expensive brands and I don't like spending money so I was like eh, all right well we'll see whatever so fast forward to this past weekend, um, I went to Vienna, Virginia, and uh, visited one of my really, really good girlfriends and her husband, and me and my husband hung out with them for a little bit today, or that day, I should say, and um, afterwards, I wanted to take him to Tyson's Corner Mall because it's a really, really big mall. I fell in love with it the first time I went there, and I really just wanted him to see the world take a sushi bar because I love sushi. So we went, we departed from our couple date basically and um, went to the mall. So when we found parking by Bloomingdale's, that was the store that we went inside and we were walking through to get to the mall and I came across the med counter. So I said, mm, let me just look at the prices because yeah, I know med can be rather expensive. Well, my husband suggested that I get my makeup done. And I said, eh, well, no, not really. You know, I just want to look and see what they have available. And he said, well, we're here. Just go ahead and get your makeup done. I said, okay. So I sat down and the lady started trying stuff for me. And I'm looking at the color of my face and the color of my neck. And I'm like, I don't see, you know, a line. Or I can't see where the makeup ends and my skin tone begins. This is pretty good. But how much is it? And she was like, well, it's $33. And I said, $33 is a lot of money, um, but I remember going to Sephora and everyone rants and raves about Makeup Forever, and Makeup Forever is $42 here in Maryland, so I said, uh, okay, maybe, let's just see how much all of this stuff is going to cost, and I can decide, pick, choose, and refuse what I want to get, what I want to take back, so uh, she did my face, and my face was absolutely amazing, and I was so surprised that there was a makeup that existed for my skin complexion and really there was like no you know whatever so long story short a hundred plus dollars later I bought a whole spill in my opinion uh, of MAC products now it's only six products so it's probably not a real spill um, but I will say that I have absolutely fallen in love with MAC the cheapskate in me when it comes to makeup has been converted. <laughs> uh, so, as of now, it's what works for me and I love it. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have on foundation now. I have on um, my MAC foundation. Let me start from the beginning. I have on my concealer, which I place like under my eyes and on my eyelids. Um, and then I have um, MAC eyeshadow and I do have some e.l.f. eyeshadow. 
I don't know if you guys can see, but um, the lighter part of my eye is MAC, and the darker part is ELF. The darker part is ELF's mineral um, eyeshadow in Socialite. And with their mineral eyeshadows, you can wet them or dry them. I did apply this dry. And then the light color is uh, by MAC. And I actually have it here. It is MAC Flicker uh, Press Pigment. And then I said I had my concealer. And this is, bear with me because I'm learning this whole MAC terminology stuff. This is NC45. Um... And then for foundation by MAC, I am an NC50. Typically with e.l.f., I am almond. Um, now that I've gotten a little bit darker, I am e.l.f.'s toffee. Um, with Revlon, I believe I am caramel. I will double check that, but I am Revlon's color state caramel. Um, and I think that's it. That's, those are the other only other makeups that I can compare it to. Um, for natural blush, I don't have natural blush on now. Right now I have on uh, Elf's bronzer. It's some type of gold bronzer. I'll put that in the description box below because I don't have it right here with me. Um, um, and then for finishing powder, I have the Elf uh, Mineral Skin Finish in Dark. So, hope you can see that. And that's in Dark by MAC. Um, and just as a kind of overall, my eyelashes... I don't really do much with my eyelashes. I really just take my mascara and just go up it a couple of times. I don't do my lower lash because I'm not comfortable with that yet. Nor do I do a waterline. I'm not comfortable with that yet. Um, but for my mascara, it's just the typical Great Lash Maybelline mascara. Uh, for my foundation, like I said, I'm still an e.l.f. girl. I use my e.l.f. powder brush. And it's like... It's just a flat bristle brush. It's still kind of wet because I washed it like earlier this morning when I left out. But it's flat. I just pour my um, foundation here on my hand, swivel it there, and then just put it on. And that's it. And this works really, really good. For my um, skin finish in Dark by MAC or my setting powder because that's what I use it for and that's what it's used for, um, I just use my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. Um, in terms of lips... Here's the interesting story. When I went to MAC and she made me completely up and I looked absolutely adorable, um, she put on my lips um, MAC's Golds and Golds. I love that color. That color is absolutely amazing. But it was sold out. So they said, well, you can check Macy's. You can check the MAC store here in the mall. I checked them both. They were sold out. I called the nearby stores where I live. They were sold out. Went home, went on the website, sold out. Everybody has bought that color. But it's absolutely amazing, and I can't say that I blame them for buying it. So, um, I bought the second closest color to the Goals and Goals, and that is uh, Asian Flower by MAC. And it looks like this. It's not as purple. To me, it has more of a pink background. Uh, or pink base to it and not as deep purple as I want it but it looks really really nice and natural when you have it on and then what I have on my lips right now if you guys can see is um, actually not e.l.f. and it's actually not MAC it's Ulta and I just got it actually earlier today um, and this is my it's, I want to say it's a dupe to goals and goals because I'll probably still go to the mall and try goals and goals on. Um, but this was eight dollars and Mac I think theirs is like sixteen or something like that, which is fine. Um, and this is number two fourteen by Alta. And it's called maybe it's called two fourteen. I don't know what else to call it um other than two fourteen. And with Mac's lipsticks I do not have to line my lips, and I love that. I love to be like as simple as possible. I don't have to line my lips. Um, it lasts for a very long time. So it says like extreme. This is Sheen Supreme, but I think it's under like the extreme long wear or something like that. You can wear this for a very long time. It's really, really good. 